That yeah. whole thing's crazy. You, you need to go to a lawyer. You need to hire someone to do it. Prenups are, are, are good, I guess. They're good to, for both parties. But they're a legal matter. You can't just print yeah, up a yeah. template. This whole thing is so bonkers. It's what's crazy. Happening. What's, he, what's the craziest is that he was crinkling something for that so long. That is not the I craziest thing. I, it's believe. the most annoying part. Runk. <laughs> looking at themselves more than you? Yeah, I do, actually. Who do you think it is? Uh, I don't like looking at myself. Are we going? Yes. I don't like looking at myself. What do you like doing? I, that's not something I like. I would I would be, on, I'm on the bottom rung of that. That's not what I like. Then how come when you're like watching, watching yourself, myself. you don't close your eyes? I like watching myself. What's the difference? Your hair looks good. Why? <laughs> Why does your hair look well, good? Well, what do you want to talk about? What, I, I, watching my, I don't like watching myself. I like, I like listening to myself. And if it's a video, I will watch it. Because I want to understand the bits that I do. And I want to understand them even better than I've already done them. And, and my hair how much grew in. do you like looking at me? I like looking at you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, your hair looks good. Hair looks better, possibly better than it's looked in years. All right right well, now. Well, okay. So it what, looks like it's just kind of you're hanging out and it's like it's good it's, it's good length it's good like it doesn't look like you just washed it but it doesn't look dirty it's a 10 yeah it's like a nine and a half all right well so if it's one of the best i've looked it's looked in years and it's obviously got to be a 10. okay right but for, for, here's the thing okay for your hair it's a 10. okay so then then hair wise i can only get a 9.5 in the world of the people with the greatest hair yeah okay. i mean that's, that's not I'm even an insult that. saying no, you that's have the good. worst hair. You know, know what I mean? I know. Or best hair. I get it. <clears throat> that's not even an insult saying you have the worst hair. <laughs> this is oh, hair. what's going on? The, you you turned hair. it off? No, I made it lower. Oh. That's that. You wore that the first episode of Lifeline. Yeah, dude. I, I remember. Did. I did. I remember. I remember. What is that from? Don't know. But it's from oh, something. Oh, man. So whatever. It is it from matter. something. It's, it doesn't matter. It's almost a jolly with the sly. Um, but if we don't know what it's from, we can't have it be a jolly. Listen, um... <clears throat> it's episode 84. What the frink? It's Thanksgiving week. What the frink? Sundays are for Lifeline. What the frink? Dude, you can go to uh, patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury to sign up for the Lifeline Luxury podcast, which is absolutely frink and unbelievable. Grow or Die is available. My special, my fifth special. It's on crystalia.com. We love it. It's, uh, I, you guys, um, I really appreciate you watching it. It's doing stupid numbers. So uh, it's doing thank you idiotic for numbies. No, it's doing really well. Uh, I appreciate you. Go get it at chrislia.com. Uh, I will be in Trenton, Philadelphia, Reading, Oxnard. And I just put on sale Sacramento. Sacramento, where you at? I was thinking of that. That's Dr. Dre. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix. I was thinking of that. Phoenix. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, El Paso, Texas, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then I have more dates coming up next uh i think this week i'm gonna post them i'm not sure but uh just had to work out the marketing and all that so go go to chrislia.com i'm gonna be there can't wait to get back to phoenix man i love the celebrity theater love it it's in the round phoenix and your boy gets seen from all angles but uh also if you want to submit to the private record which is matt's new podcast yeah uh where people share amazing crazy weird wild stories uh go to uh pr the private record.com and if you have a question for lifeline just drop uh, down below in the link. We have it, uh, watchlifeline.com, and we got the merch at lifelinemerch.com. It's all, you know, it's all how it is, baby. You want a one on one with me? Go to mattelia.com. Thank you. You want a one on one? Wanna 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 one with me, Mattelia? Go to mattelia.com. Thank you. All right. You want to submit to my podcast? Get yourself on the show. Go to privaterecord.com. Thank you. So. Stupid. And don't forget about the merch. You're Go to lifelinemerch.com and thank you. You're 40. Dude. Um, I am 40. So I was working out yesterday. Boo. And I was thinking about this because I took Denny Love, very fantastic comedian. We were at uh, my Guy's gym. always in a terrific mood, dude. He's just the best, man. Um, and he was like, I want to work out legs because I work this out. This was in LA? Yeah, this was yesterday. Okay, yeah, yeah, in LA. He's like, I want to work out legs. Well, no, I, I, he didn't say that. I, he showed I asked up because you go on tour with him. That's I know, no, okay, I know. Yeah, I want yeah he goes on. Though, yeah. yeah. Um, no, no, we traveled to another city to work out. But um, <laughs> no, he goes on tour with me. But anyway, uh, 
he he was like, I'm here. I, I put a guest, you know, he doesn't go to my gym, so right, I gave okay. him a guest pass. Came up and he's like, what you working on today? I said, legs. He said, I knew you were going to say that. Because he didn't want to? Yeah, nobody wants to work out legs. Nobody I mean, does. I, I actually do, but. You like it? I do, yeah. I've okay. grown to like it. Okay. Because it's so hard. Oh, okay. Right. Um, it's like kind of, you know what it's like kind of? Going to <clears throat> meetings, like uh, oh, for yeah, addiction. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like once you start doing it, like I've just now, I've done eight meetings in eight days. So every day I'm doing a meeting. Yeah. And That's just that, now yeah. I'm like, today I woke up and I'm like, I got to get to, I gotta get to my meeting. Do you know what I'm saying? But when you start doing it, you're like, Ugh. But what about, is it during and after? Do you feel increasingly good about it? Or are you just... In leg leg day or, or meeting day? If it's like, if it's similar. Meeting then. is... Uh, well, it's to it's a totally different thing. I mean, it's just completely different. But the meeting, I guess, the meeting is really what I'm asking about because I don't care about leg day. Obviously, <laughs> you know, much more. Interesting well, meetings are meeting. cool because you share your feelings and you hear other people's uh, uh, f um, what they're going through, and you identify with some of it. And, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And some some of the meetings are you you don't you identify with them less. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going through different things completely. But uh, uh, leg day is always just hardcore. Mm. So anyway. I was do anyway, I digress. But I was doing, uh, so we start doing it, and um, I was working out, and I was thinking, I, I you know, because he works out, but he, he doesn't. Looks like he works out. Yeah, yeah. no, he does. He's got. He's fit, yeah. but he doesn't work out legs hardcore. Yeah. He does work out legs, yeah. but not. I feel like a lot of people don't. They do don't. That. Yeah, it's yeah. just you well, know, you do it. People want to look and, good. They don't want to like yeah, totally. model their legs. You know. So uh, we did it. I went hard, and he's obviously in, he texted me today. I'm in pain, but. Uh, I was thinking about, I wonder what the heck it would be like with you. Me? Yeah. Oh, I did not think not that, just that's working out, going. But doing actual leg day with you. It'd be fucking miserable for everybody involved. I would be miserable and ostensibly you would be too because I'm like absolutely murdering the vibe. Oh, I'd be doing my thing. Oh, then it would be fine for you too. Oh, I'd be doing my thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll be doing my thing. Yeah, no, it sounds, it so, sounds okay, just, so. you know, unfortunately like a complete, utter nightmare. To okay, me. so yeah. if I was like, all right, your turn, come on, let's go, you would be like, no. You would look up and I would be gone. <laughs> I mean, like, I just, I, it, it, and I don't want to get, I don't want it to get confused by anybody. Like, I don't think people who do that are. Yeah, no, like, I know that. It's just me. Like, that's not for me. Yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How much do you sleep? Uh,. I guess lately more, I guess. So maybe six and a half, seven hours. Oh, you're getting more. Yeah, lately I get more. Okay, because you used to get what? Like five. Gonna five, six. die. Bing, early. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, you got to move around and you got to sleep more. <clears throat> I mean, I definitely move around. No, 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 I know. You, you, you move around I don't a lot. You pace a work lot. out. Yeah, no, I know. I wonder though. I wonder how... If uh, I wish we knew how much working out and eating right and sleeping right affected... Uh, our, the longevity of our like I wish there was an app where you could see like you're doing well at this point if you do this you'll live to 92 do you right, but what about when you get hit by a bus or just well, well that's always the but what if you're coded for in genetically to get cancer when you're like 65 like right. these things don't but 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 like the way you work out people are gonna be so in disagreement with me about this but like right. sometimes you just are gonna get the thing you're uh, gonna get yes that is true but but my point is if if like what if there were, like I'm of saying what if that could, would be amazing yeah what if yeah. you could add that you could add the blood test to it and then your app says you know you're supposed to get this at well dude eventually one would have to imagine that something like that will, will be in existence yeah. and, and available to every single individual and that's what I wanted to come in if you would just pay a small fee uh, I can help with that I think probably you this is like Theranos what do you mean oh you uh, I was thinking about Theranos too yeah. Mm. I'm saying if you just give me a small... T oh, you're, you're Elizabeth Holmes. Yeah. For this app. Okay. $20,000. Yeah. I think I could probably anything, make it happen. Anything. Anything no. about any of this. But did she I, though? I know more than you. What do you mean? I know more about how this stuff works than you do. And I'm not interested in More about in how what stuff works? Body and what stuff? would go into an app like that? What are you oh, talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant health and fitness. <laughs> so I was about yeah. to be like, um... Wow. Yeah. I was about to be like, check please. And we're not even at a restaurant, so... How's, how annoying is this? Um, sure, yeah, dude. I mean, it's, it's definitely annoying unless you're Ace Ventura. Yeah, well, no, uh, that, then it's good. Yeah, then it's good. So anyway, uh, that's what I was thinking about. Um, and, and, yeah, maybe that's boring, but honestly, I don't give a fuck, dude. 
I do what I do. It's not that boring. Okay. But I want everyone okay. to understand Fair what enough. Chris did. He went to the gym with Denny Love, mm -hmm. his friend. Yeah. And while they were doing leg day, yeah. he Chris thought, I wonder what it would be like to do leg day with Matt. Right. <laughs> That's fucking weird. But it's not boring. So I don't... It's I, I, not boring? I don't... I think that's in, strangely... Wow. Odd, strange I'm and shocked. odd. That's strange and odd. Right, let me you tell know? you... Okay. So if I was... If, if the story was, I went to do leg day with Denny Love. Mm -hmm. And I wondered what it was like to do leg day with... In the middle, I wonder what it like to our friend, you know, Rob. Mm -hmm. Would that be interesting? No. So you only said it because it's you, right? Well, I'm saying to the yes. audience, it might be interesting because we're the host of the show. They uh, watch the show. They care about us. He got out of that one. <laughs> so he got scared. out of that one. He got out, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't in anything. You were involved. Yeah. You were was, involved in the, you were in the storm. I was in hot water. Yeah. Okay. Dude, the other day, Calvin uh, was at um, the, the Grove with our, our nanny. Mm -hmm. And he asked our nanny, he said, um, are, are we close to home? And she, mm. and she said, no, well, not too far, about 10 minutes away from, uh, mm -hmm. from, uh, from home. And he said, stupid. <laughs> and, th and then he said, um, I can say stupid now because I'm not allowed to say it at home because mommy doesn't like when I say stupid. Ooh. Got it out of his system at the Grove. Working it out. Got out of that one from at home. How you know? funny is that, dude? That's pretty good. I got to start doing that kind of stuff more often. When you're not at home, say say words. That yeah, Kristen's like saying like, I don't really say words though. That like I've yeah. never. Yeah, I don't ever call. There's no like word that. Yeah, as you an adult, it'd be like Kristen is like don't say that word because some 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 guys would get mad at their woman and be like B I T C H. I don't do that. I've never done that actually. Or C U N. You know how it ends. But I don't. Do that. I've never done that. Mm. Never called her a name in my life. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, except you can't for call one people time names, I called dude. her Frank Drebin. That's a good thing to call someone. Though. That's not calling someone. You know names. who Frank Drebin is? Of course, I know who Frank okay. Drebin is. All Leslie right. Nielsen's character in uh, Naked Gun. Yep, almost called it Top Gun. <laughs> uh, hey, what if Leslie, Leslie Nielsen was in Top Gun? It'll be better. We all One know question. it. What? Did you guys watch The Killer on Netflix? Not yet, I did. but I want to. I did. Yeah, that's by that guy. That's with that guy. Uh, what's his name in it? Oh, is that a Fincher movie? Yeah, yeah, it's Fincher. Is yeah. that a Fincher piece? Yeah, it's a Fincher piece. We'll talk about that on luxury, but oh yeah, okay, uh, yeah, let's talk about that. There. Yeah, I did see it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Lifeline luxury. Go to get Lifeline luxury. Yeah, uh, that's a little teaser. I'm gonna tell you what yeah, I think yeah. about oh. the movie The Killer. And, and people at home go like, this, oh, oh, I'm not, I'm not subscribed. And they're gonna run to Patreon.com/slash yeah. Lifeline Luxury yeah. just to hear what I think about the, the I David see Fincher that, film. I love. I like. Uh, oh man, you know what? My favorite David Fincher thing was. Well, we could talk about this on Lifeline. <gasps> Okay. Ooh, even more! Uh, wow, yeah, yeah. it was man. It was that that one on Netflix though that was happening. Well, they're all on Netflix now. But no, that's no, no, cool. no, 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 Mindhunter. TV show. Mindhunter. Yeah, Mindhunter. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, all right, let's start. Want to go into it? Can somebody get me a bottle of water? At, at, Hi, Matt, at and Chris. Convenient? Everybody at Lifeline, you guys are awesome. Um, I need some advice. So okay. I played volleyball in college, and now I coach club volleyball and give private lessons. Great. And most of these kids are like middle and high school. Thank mm -hmm. you. And. At private lessons, sometimes the parents will sit on the court and like actively give feedback oh as I'm giving feedback. A private lessons? The thing is that they're usually wrong. Yeah, right. And no they're kind of mean to their kids. Like they're a little bit harsh and it gets in the kids' heads and I can just see them start to spiral. So how mm. do I tell these parents like stop and you're wrong and you're making it worse for your, these kids, but also you're entitled to be here on the court. You're paying for the lessons. Yeah, your kid right. It's a free conch. Um, yeah, I'm just not really sure what to do. Thanks. That is tricky. I will say tricky. that that is tricky because you, under normal circumstances, you could s just say the flat truth because it doesn't matter. But this is like your actual employment. You don't want to lose clients by delivering news to them that they're obviously not going to take well. But at the same time, I agree with you that they're sort of, it's suboptimal to say the very least that Robot. they're there doing that. Like messing up and going against probably the things you're saying, or at least pulling them in a direction that is suboptimal. Robot. Um, <clears throat> did but, she say volleyball? Yeah, she did. What is a private lesson for volleyball? Is it a team sport? I didn't want to go down that. Okay. Route. All right. Um, I keep going. But I don't know. Maybe we'll but but I guess later, I get it. Like I I, There's private lessons in baseball. I know, but there, baseball is a very singular thing. You, a lot of times you're batting. Well, I would imagine they're doing things like she's setting someone up. Yeah, and but then, then... And then it's like, how do you spike and how oh, do you do the yeah, setup? Okay. It's like technique. What's weird is that a parent who doesn't play volleyball 
would think that they know anything about. That's actually, that's so crazy. Well, maybe it's like, I remember when I used to play baseball, what? like there would be dads who thought because they played when yeah. they were younger <laughs> that they knew better than coaches. And it's like, sure, that's possible. Right. But it is just very unlikely mm. that you know more <laughs> In this case, especially, <laughs> than the private coach that you've hired yeah. for your child. But parents, dude, parents get weird. They act like entitled. Yeah. I'm going to be and like that. Like, well, I pay for it, so I deserve to be here, and, and it's my kid, so I can say, yeah. it's like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But if you want your kid to be better at the thing, oh, oh, yeah. then you got to let me do my thing. From the thing, you should be like, oh, you don't want your kid to be better? <laughs> <laughs> You're throwing money away. Just say that. Oh, good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. I can't get this out of my throat. You Here done? Go. Yeah. You done being disgusting? So well, I'm trying not to, dude. But um, yeah. You know what? Also, you could do is set is set that out from the jump. Like make it in the email or whatever. Like by the way, um, you know, sometimes parents get involved and they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, you know, obviously make the language nice, but uh, this is a one-on-one -on -one thing for a reason. So let me do the teaching. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if not, I have a particular set of skills. I'll find you and I will kill you. Yeah, that, oh, that's a good one. And then too. a picture and a GIF of Liam Neeson. You know what's weird? It is GIF. What do people but say? GIF? Everyone says GIF, and anyone who GIF? says anyone who says GIF gets corrected, and it's hard. How it's, do you know what it is? It's like swimming so hard upstream because I saw, I don't remember if it was an interview with or an article, Mr. The GIF? guy who, yeah, the guy who coined it. Oh, really? Yeah, Fred GIF. Yeah, Tom, <coughs> Tommy GIF. Yeah. But he, but here's the thing. Uh uh. uh. Okay. I'm probably going to agree what? with what you're going to say. Okay. Because it stands for graphics or graphical interchange format. So it could exactly. be good. It should so be good. It should be GIF. It right. should be GIF. You're right. I'm just saying the guy graphic. who made it up calls it a GIF. It's and, traffic. And that is that is just the fact. It, it stands for giraffes and fucking heat, honestly. Mm. <laughs> That's. Oh, this, the H is silent. GIF. Yeah, giraffes, giraffes in fucking. No, fucking heat is one right. word. So G I F H. Mm. Oh, oh, fucking heat. Fucking heat. Right, right. Okay. Scientific um, word, dude. Imagine mythology. giraffes having sex, and then I'll, what, ima thank God animals don't do oral sex because what if giraffes did oral sex? Their body would be so far away from the actual person. Person, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think long some long ass think... neck on the the other giraffe just did a long ass neck. Can't even reach with the just. Yeah, their body would be in like another zip code. <laughs> yep, it's like raining where their body is, and yeah, not yeah, yeah. where their head. Oh, why are you so wet? Because I went no, no, no. Because I was in a different zip code. Why are you all wet, baby? Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. I think that. Do you think about the fact that some animals do give oral sex? Oh uh, well, yeah, and I, receive oral sex. Right, humans, and then also uh, bats and um, sloths, and also fish and um, wolves. Sloths, dude, just like this. <laughs> <laughs> and when they come, they go, oh. It takes 10, ten yeah. and a half minutes. Yeah, yeah. All Even right. the jizz is like. Yeah, I didn't fully listen to what he said. Wow. But yeah. I think what he said was the right kind of advice. You got to just, yeah. In you got to thread the needle, but you can't not say something. I think the way it, it has to be framed like, you can even say like the stuff you're saying is great and i think that maybe you can if you can save it all up for after the lesson we can maximize our time together right something like that. i guess i We're, still think that you should do it before anyone does anything you oh, should do it in oh, the, oh i see what you're you saying. should do it in the email yeah beforehand or whatever it is like this is remember this is one i, I guess you up the language nice you know you're, you're nice come if you want but yeah right yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one yeah. lesson and then also if you do come try not to try to resist the urge to because you know to say something because i know my shit and you don't well, that's not a like really that, but wrong it up nicely. possible way to say it. Right, but she's right, obviously right. a nice lady. Right. Yeah, that, that, that's the move, I think. And then if they still do it, you can always resend the email. <sighs> then whoops. that's tricky, though. Like, what if they... Yeah, you, exactly. You could, you could, you could Pe forward parents... it back to the person <laughs> and then just write whoops over parents it. Parents would still do it, dude, for sure. Mm. But, they will still do but it. Then but then you're in an even trickier spot because it's like I already... Yeah. But you can't, you can't make people do something. So if they're going to do it, they're going to do it, period. Yeah. But, but the best thing you can do is say hey look don't do that yeah. and do it before they do it so they're not defensive yeah right yeah now are they listening to haunted house footage or something what's going on yeah i don't know do you guys hear that mm -hmm. oh it's above us oh, it's above us oh it sounds like it's in the speakers oh yeah people are moving stuff just uh, people, yeah it's a haunted house all right cool <laughs> next one 
Hi boys, uh, thanks for taking my submission. Okay, I need advice. So my partner and I have uh, been together for five years. We have a little boy, he's two years old. We love him so fucking much. Cute. We um, decided to split recently. Uh, we can't afford to live in separate homes. So we're living mm. in separate rooms in mm -hmm. the same house. Wow. Pause there, any advice? Awesome. Second uh. bit of that, we have an incredible sexual connection oh. uh -huh. um that's like so incredibly hard to Jeez. um put to rest so with all that going on need advice need help with boundaries I mean, need I got, I got what do you think we should do can't afford to live on our own living in the same house raising our son in separate rooms strong sexual connection go thanks i got a good piece of advice Stay together. Yeah, you're together. <laughs> like, what the? What, what's stay the reason to, you're splitting? Stay up? together because you are together. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. What do I do? Okay, so I'm with my <laughs> I'm with my ex. We live together. We have sex so much. We love and our we share, love each other. We love our child. We, we laugh share. so much. We have yeah. a beautiful child, and we love raising him. Um. And how do? What do I do? What the hell? Do you're I, doing it. What the hell do I do? What is it? Maybe it's a situation. situation. Maybe somebody crossed a boundary, and then it right. just, they can't get over it. Or I don't, you have to imagine what, whatever it is that's, that there's a good reason. But, yeah. but based on what you said, you're together and what you should do is try stay, to work it out. Try to work it out because you already are together. I mean, I, I, you're together. Yeah. You live together. Ostensibly. You, you are con consistently lot. having sexual relations and you have a <laughs> child that you both adore that you co-parent. Like... It's, you're together yeah and it's also fine to sleep in different rooms that yeah some couples just do that yeah. actually even like, i know no happy, i'm married happy, couples happy that are happy yeah, ones totally yeah. yeah so you can still do that and then also like how if you're not together and you can't live in different houses then honestly how is your dating life like you you can't invite people over it's too you'd have to explain too much to the and kid there's another reason why you're you're together together so i would say you know, honesty, well, first of all, just because of all the things that are stacked against you, like, don't be hard on yourself if yeah. you, like, can't stay away from him. Yeah. Like, or he can't stay away from you. Like, of course you guys are going to end up having sex if the chemistry is amazing. You guys either have been, still are, or whatever, you're, you're in love. Yeah, they're probably in love. Like, you know, don't be like, oh, what's wrong with me? I keep getting into his bed or I keep letting him into mine. Mm. Like, that's clearly going to happen. Be easier on yourself about it. And if you guys really want to separate, yeah. I, I really do think that you have to figure out a way yeah. to not live together. Yeah, that, that's that, really what you both yeah. want. Yeah. You have to do that. Right. 100%. Um, otherwise. That's a really. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess, you know, geez, yeah. To even say like we recently split is almost like. Well, you didn't though. You didn't split because you're under the same roof, having sex and co-parenting a child you both love. That is, have, I mean, are you like not having meals together? You're not talking in, you know, you, you right. are. Right, you are. <laughs> I would imagine you are. And in front of the child, you're obviously like, at least I would hope so, like getting yeah, along in front of the child. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not throwing shit. You're together. No, you're together. Hey, hey, you know what? You're together. You're together and here's the, here's the crazy part. You're happy. Yeah. Hey, yo, you know what? I, I keep wearing this uniform with a badge on it. It's blue. <laughs> I have a hat that says police and uh, I'm not a cop. So what do I do? I arrest people. Um, I put them in jail. They let me. And frankly, yep. the cops let me put them in the real jail. Yeah. So. I hang out with a bunch of other real cops. Yeah. Um, and I go to all the Christmas parties for the real cops. People address me as officer. I have a um, diploma from cop school that yep, lets me yep. officially police communities yep what do i do i'm not a cop yeah that's the same question you're a cop yeah you're a cop you're a cop yeah okay all right cool next one hi Aww. i mean it's really so big. cute that's a good point what are you talking about blah, blah, blah. Hi. hi i'm natalie this is nick hi natalie nick my question is about his name um he <laughs> is almost three he was a complete surprise. Oh. He came on... Um, surprise! Surprise. <laughs> and um, you have to name your baby within, uh, I think, like eight weeks or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, Silly bears. After I named him, I realized that his name should be Clarence. Ah. Oh. 
after Christian Slater and True Romance. Oh, that's cool. Is it completely and totally tacky to change my baby's name after he is almost three? I don't know. But he's a Clarence. Look at him. That's hilarious. Right? Nick. His name's Nick. Why? What? Why do you? Ha what's the eight weeks thing? Uh, legally, you have to officially uh, uh, put forth the uh, name of your legal name of your child by eight weeks. They give you eight weeks to name your child. Just start calling him Clarence too. You don't have to officially change it. Just be like, hey, Clarence. Oh, that's, mom did that, that shit. That, oh. My real name is Jeff. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to like make it such a thing to where it's like. But here's the thing, though. You're gonna you, use the shit out of the kid. You though, certainly yeah. can. You know, I I think you should. His name is Nick. You should keep it Nick. That's what you think? Yes, that is what that. I think. I don't think that. Okay, I think okay. if you want your child to have a different name because it is re has been revealed to you <laughs> now that you've lived with him for a long period of time, or you no know, enough time, and that child strikes you as someone who should have a different name means nothing but okay no it does mean something dude i've i mean people are who i don't I can mean to compare people to dogs but many people adopt dogs keep the name that they've always had and they're just like I, you're not that though you're you're something else makes no difference i don't agree at all anyway i agree with my brother though if you just want his name to be clarence you don't need to legally go yeah. through the whole thing yeah but if you want to Go for it. Dude, but it's not necessary. You could just be calling him Clarence and do some as Clarence and people will learn that he's Nick and be confused as fuck, but who cares? No, dude. Clarence is a name just as much as Nick is a name. If I started calling Calvin, you know, Terry, mm -hmm. he would be like, why are you calling me that? It's so weird. Mm. It, it's go it's going to affect the kid. He, he didn't seem to mind too much. Well, yeah, well... He, you know, they would say Clarence and he would go, Gay! Yeah, I know, but it's just like, you, 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 it's been three years. Yeah. Three years. It took you too long to figure out your name, son's name. Well, That's maybe she's been thing. wrestling with it for two years. Yeah. In which case, it's too late. It's too long, it. though. It's too long. But uh, I like, here's my problem with this whole thing I like naming him Clarence. I like the name Clarence. After a Christian Slater character. But Nick is a great name, too. Romance. Nick is a good name. I have nothing against the yeah. name Nick. I'm just saying Clarence is obviously a less common name. Yeah. Uh, and it has meaning to her, clearly. And she thinks he's a Clarence and not a Nick. I, I get that. I can relate. I would not do that, I don't think, ever. Mm. But I don't think she's in any oh. kind of wrong... Uh, it's too old. You're going to confuse him. I think you name him Christian Slater from True Romance. That's <laughs> what you name him. What if you just named him Nick, Nick Clarence? Because oh, it all rose together. Move it all. Nicla you know, you know, your name is actually short for. I guess Nick it's Clarence. A, or you could, if, if he doesn't have a middle name, you could just be like your middle name's Clarence. What's called Clarence too. It's all the same. It's thing. It's all the me. same like, thing. Just maybe. call him Clarence. If you're gonna do something, just start calling him Clarence. Yeah. But don't ch change it legally. That's just too much. And what if he's like, oh man, why didn't you name me Nick when he turns to be 15? He's like, I like Nick better. Well, when you're 18, you can change your name to anything. So that kind of is. It's kind of cool though to be growing up to be like, like as a thirty year old to be like, hey Clarence, to be like, you know that wasn't always my name. Like that's right. pretty badass to have that See? story too. See, so mm. then change it to Clarence. Give your son something to talk about. Whatever. We're giving you a lot of because he'll probably ideas. be boring if he's like most people in the fucking world. Give him something to be less boring. Sadik, so nihilist. <laughs> uh, We're gonna die anyway. <laughs> uh, all right, all well, right. Clarence seems very sweet. Clarence, so good luck. I always think of Eminem. <laughs> I mean, I think of Clarence Thomas III, so I don't know. Yeah, me too. I'm smart. I think a lot of people will. Yeah. Or Clarence Clemens, because I'm musical. Shit. What's up, Matt? Leaning What's up, Chris? Uh, been a viewer since the beginning, and really? I'm down to do trivia to prove that. Nice. Uh, but for real, I love you guys. You guys have got me through a really hard time, and I can never repay you enough for that. Wow. Uh, I need some advice, though. I mean, you give us a I got this girlfriend. Dollars. We've been dating for about four years. She has a brother. <laughs> He's 27. I'm 26. I'm 6'2", he's 5'9", nice. but regardless, Eat him up. Um, he's over-affectionate with my girlfriend, and it the needs brother? to be stopped, and I don't know what to say or what to do. Oh, oh, Every time we meet up, uh, he gives her like a big hug and a forehead kiss, and he has a pet name for her. He calls her Moo Moo. He says, huh? I missed you, Moo Moo. Huh. Uh, and then he's like overprotective, and oh, well, that's he just whines about the weirdest things towards her. Uh, when we leave, he gives another forehead kiss and a bye, Moo Moo. Um, but the other day, we were on the boat, 
me, my girlfriend, her brother, and the dad. And he and, ate her uh, pussy. <laughs> we were all tuckered out at the end of the day. Her brother was off doing something, so we just said bye to the dad, and we kept it pushing. Um, maybe an hour or two later, we get a call from the dad that says her brother's so pissed off. Why? That she didn't say bye to him. Oh, no way. Oh, that he didn't get his precious bye, moo, moo, forehead kiss. And that's really what threw me over the edge. But here's yeah, yeah. the caveat. He's such a sensitive guy, mm -hmm. and the dad is such a sensitive guy, Obviously. and the mom is such a sensitive lady, so I can't make things too awkward because they'll never talk to me again. Like, if I, I can't properly just call him out and say, hey, big dog's around, no more forehead kids. That's, that's, that's what he said. All right, no more moo moo. We're all big adults here. Uh, I can't really do that in a too aggressive way. I don't know what to say. Any advice would be appreciated. Again, love you guys. That's what an interesting Life thing. Life rips. Yeah, it does. I, I, I wonder what she thinks. Well, that's what that's I was going to say. That's the main thing. Talk to your girl and ask her, or not ask her, don't pussyfoot around it. Just be like, say big dog's look, around. Listen, you're talking, look, look, you're talking to big dog. Yeah, yeah, right big now, dog's okay? here. It's just you yeah. and big dog, yeah. okay? <laughs> <laughs> look, it's just you and big dog, so we can just, you know, we don't have to bullshit each other, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Big dog, don't bullshit, okay? And, do how do you f in all honesty how do you feel with like the level of affection your brother displays for you and the we like the overprotectiveness that he uh, yeah. displays hey look look it's me it's just big dog and mumu yeah. face to face big dog and mumu okay <laughs> i'm your brother right now imagine i'm your brother and then get down like this like real like low you know because he's five nine right and like yeah. first of all how does he get well she's probably sh shorter yeah um just be like do you like the forehead kisses do are you Mumu or are you my girl? Right? Maybe she doesn't like it. Oh, the the pet name thing. I don't. Who cares? Who, I was gonna say it, that's not matter. a thing. I mean, siblings call each other shit like yeah, that yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I call, I call him weakling. I, I call him booba bang bang bing bing. Weakling and booba bang bang bing bing. <laughs> uh, but um, no a bully, you know, weakling. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. And an alien. Bing bing booba bing bing. Yeah. Um, but I don't. Uh, I, you know the forehead kiss. It, that's kind of odd that it's always a forehead kiss to me. Agree. It's one thing if you just, Mwah. I don't care about that. But like, that's a weird, it almost, that makes it feel like it's a weird ownership thing yeah. or something. Or it's definitely some sort of insecurity thing. I don't know. But um, the overly sensitive thing is is terrible. I mean, you're just being a big, uh, just being a person, big dog. And if you were to just say, yo, it makes me uncomfortable w w the way they're treated. And then it was fine. But what do you mean he's, pissed off that she didn't say bye sometimes you just don't say bye to somebody ever heard of irish people and like yeah. you know like it's okay you know not you don't be really like get over it but like we're all adults big dogs around and it's fine yeah uh i think that and I, for the for him to say i don't want to make a big deal of it because they're never going to talk to me again is that's crazy the people in her family are clearly way too sensitive yeah okay now obviously you want to accommodate for that as much as you can because it's they're your girlfriend's family you and you her. love your girl but at a certain point you cannot continue to accommodate someone like that like you, you or a group of people like that right you can't you can't you're big dog dude mm. you can't yeah. constantly be shackled if you're big dog you can't big dogs do not you can't be shackled too much no, right not, yeah exactly you, you can, gotta break free of those can, chains but, yeah. eventually because you're big dog yep if you're yeah. big dog you gotta be the big dog unfortunately it's your nature yeah so i mean it sounds like you can at least take a few steps first to avoid a potential confrontation mm-hmm First and, and obvious, and I'm, I'm stunned if you haven't done this already, big dog. You, you have to talk to her, your girl, about it. Frankly, tell her your feelings and ask her about her own. If she, she might even say something that might even put your mind at ease. And it's like, actually, it's like this. And you think about it like a different way. It might even make you feel differently about it. Yeah. Talk to her about it. She'll understand if you're... She already knows you for four years. She's not going to be like, whoa, where's this coming from? You're never like this. She already knows you're a big dog. Right. You know? Yeah. I definitely talk to her about it if you haven't done it yet. Yeah. That's step one. But even if you have talked to her about it, like talk to her about it in a, in a different way this time and just be like, look, 
it's it's too much for me at this point and i want to talk to you about figuring out a way to help me deal with this is it me talking to your brother is it you talking to your brother is it all three of us having a conversation i don't want it to be as you know i i want to minimize the potential sensitive reactions by your family but like i'm totally down to be as you know direct about it as i can be but i don't want to overstep anything that's going to make right. you feel uncomfortable yeah. because obviously and this is you to her like you're the most important person in this situation to me i want to make sure anything i do is okay with you and it's all good that's weird the it's whole thing is kind of weird, weird. It, you know i none of it would bother me until the that phone call then i would be like all right the, so that, so i agree with you what phone call <clears throat> that that the brother got mad oh right yeah. the dad called it's like d d d so enmeshed and but the i want to know if are, the dad was like on the brother's yeah. side or like all right, look, do i it. don't know what to tell you but your brother's right. mad and i don't i don't yeah. know that's different you know i bet the but dad, the dad was, was like look side. why didn't you call yeah. you should have said goodbye to your brother now he's upset and it ruined his day like enmeshment oh you guys are fucking babies dude. enmeshment babies you're all babies yep how's a mom feel too uh like the last episode you're all babies find a big crib big dog needs to find a big crib and fit <laughs> the entire family into that big crib okay well there you have and it. then close the top of it so they can't climb out the cage <clears throat> yeah all right cargo let's do it yo what's up chris what's up matt tonight. that's a great beard so here's my question chris i will sell you my hair for one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars oh that's a bad now, deal here's the thing i literally just woke up so i just want to show you you know this is just an even playing field oh, you know what i'm okay. saying this is just the canvas okay right Oh, a I lot see. to work with there. Yeah, yeah. So my question is, I will sell you my hair for one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Thank you. We have the same hair, I guess. Uh, Not really. No. Why would I want his hair? It's good hair. Sure, but my hair's it's better. the same hair. Yeah. I like my hair better than his. His beard is killer. His be yeah, he should have offered his beard. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, maybe the beard's included. Is beard is beard included? He didn't say I don't so. Want, I would imagine it's not. I don't want that beard. I think it's great, but I don't want it. That beard would look crazy on me. If I had that beard, dude, people would be like, "What the fuck yeah. is going on?" Man, that, beard is that beard is so dense. That beard is so dense. It's that so if you dense. stuck your finger in and pushed hard, mm -hmm. you might not get to his skin. Yeah, you know what I'm talking uh -huh. about? Yeah, it's like a Brillo pad. Yep, he. It's like it's like a Velcro. It's like not yeah. not hair. No, they it's shot not, they shot deliverance in that beard. Yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah. People, it's got a creak in it. People are lost inside yep. his beard right now. They shot lost in there is what they yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, the smoke monsters in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, the tailies are all all up in the back. Who the tailies? What's oh you know the lost? Yeah, I know about the tailies. Oh, that's pretty cool. I forgot about the oh, tailies. Wow. wow. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Hey, Matt and Chris. Um, to keep it brief, I have recently decided that I am not going to be drinking anymore just because um, every time I do, I wake up with a headache. Um, my body just doesn't respond to it well. And even if I don't drink enough to get drunk, I still wake up oh, feeling wow. crappy. Yeah. So, um, but because of that people people say really weird and invasive oh. things when when you tell them that you're not drinking mm -hmm. for some reason like mm -hmm. oh are you an alcoholic mm -hmm. um to my face or are you hiding the fact that you're pregnant from us because god mm -hmm. forbid i just don't want to drink alcohol <laughs> like yeah. you know of course there has to be like this mm -hmm. big yeah I've been secret this or thing mm -hmm. um Anyway, but the reason I'm bringing this up to you guys is because I'm very curious what you guys would say in those like bar scenarios and stuff mm. um, when you're telling them that it's you're not sucks. drinking um, and they come back at you with some weird like pressurey stuff or mm. um, making you feel bad for she not said to, drinking to keep or it brief in the beginning, being right? invasive. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she said um, to keep it brief. I'm just curious I'm just saying what it. you guys think of that. 
And um, yeah, thank you. So sweet. Joking with you, but you did yeah, say you to keep it brief. You can't and, say uh, stuff like that about someone who's being so sweet. She's so sweet, but she said to keep it brief. And then it was four minutes and it's all good. She's very sweet. It was a minute. It was a minute. But it's all good. All right. Well, what I'm saying is, yeah, no, I'm kidding. But there, <laughs> there is uh, what she should do is just say, it might even be true. You don't know because you're always getting a headache. Just be like, yo, I figured out I'm like allergic to alcohol. Oh, interesting. Because like it's not even really a lie. If, if, you, if you're always getting a headache afterwards, just be like, yo, it gives me a headache. I'm, I'm allergic to it. And the thing is, you'll get in people who be like, oh, really? Like, what is it that you're allergic to? The yeah. hops? Yeah. Or whatever. Uh um, I know yeah. what you could do. What? Say to me, like, well, what are hey, you, 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 you drinking tonight? No, I'm not. Oh, how come? Don't want to. Okay. And then walk That'll away. definitely no, then get them to stop you talking away. to you. Yeah, but then exactly. you'll be known as the bitch in town. <laughs> no. She's so sweet. Imagine her doing that. Yeah. Her, that woman. Don't want to. She would do it like this. Don't want to. <laughs> um, sorry. We okay? That's what she would do. Uh, yeah. No. no she, yeah. You, you, that would... If you don't want to, lo- ah, dude, it's really annoying. I mean, he never drank. I stopped drinking. So people that know me, yeah. I mean, I used to drink a lot too. And I didn't, you know, quit because of any internal reason. It mm-hmm. wasn't like I was, I mean, maybe I was an alcoholic. I actually don't even know. You just kind of stopped. Though. But I just stopped for a, a health reason uh, a long time ago. And to explain that health reason would have been not only take too long it would be really boring and i'll sum it up the doctor said his penis was too small for, for doctor drinking. said you know gosh you have this tiny penis situation yeah. your penis goes in mm-hmm. and i was like well what do i do about that they were like stop drinking so i stopped drinking yeah uh and now it comes out just it peaks a little peaks bit out, more. it peaks out a little it's bit still really small uh from inside my body and um no i i i actually pre- i preempt anything so when people are like, what are you drinking? Or can I get you a drink? Mm. I'll say no. And if anybody comes at me with more, mm. even just a look, I'll say, I'm not like an alcoholic or anything. I just don't drink. If you if you put out a vibe, like shut the fuck up. Mm. It'd be they, hard for her They though. will shut the fuck up. It'd be hard for her. I know, but it's not mean though. I don't mean like be a dick. Yeah, I mean, no, no, like, no. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. if you put out the vibe of like, you don't want to know about it. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. It's boring. Mm. Like it's, I'm not an alcoholic. I just, I don't drink. Yeah. That, that is enough. Yeah. in my case always no one's ever been like oh but what happened you know it's just like uh. that guy doesn't drink and they can think oh what a fucking bore oh what a killjoy but that's on them dude even when i used to drink a lot if someone was like no i don't drink i was never one of those people who was like oh oh thinks he's better than me mm, or yeah, like yeah, oh yeah, come yeah, on yeah. just but have a drink are like that but. they are like that that those people suck though those people suck. Just be like, well, yo, yo, let's have a drink. It'd be like, uh, oh, yeah, no. Oh, you, you don't drink? Why not? Oh, I just don't drink. Oh, yeah, well, what's going on? How come? Did you stop or something? Be like, did you ever get an abortion? And they'd be like, well, what were you doing? Did it get personal? I'd be like, I just figured since we're getting personal, I would get personal with you. And then so, and then just dance away. Yeah. Like facing them, but like your shoulders are bouncing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's yeah it's annoying that's one of those things that everyone's always going to have to deal with when they don't drink but just say you're allergic to it that's what I think dude do you think I'm a beanie guy maybe let's find out you certainly don't know how to put one on let me see it seems so ridiculous yeah you kind of don't well, you don't you're not ha- a hat head person I'm definitely not a ball cap guy beanie maybe not a pink it one it just kind of is silly but I mean, if you, are here's the silly? thing. If you wore them sometimes, yeah. you would look okay. I but would have to get people never, normal, exactly. used to it. Yeah. So, so, so really, that's not something that. It's not like I'm not a beanie guy. It's well, it, it's exactly like. Well, I'm not a beanie guy, but exactly, I don't look bad in beanies. Do I look bad in beanies? Is what I'm asking. No, I look not, bad in a lot of baseball hats. I will say that I look bad in them. It's not that I'm not a hat guy. It's that I look bad. Oh, I a, see. I am not a hat guy, but it's the fact that I look bad in a lot of baseball hats. Not all of them. Okay. Okay. I don't think I look bad in these, but I think it's a, 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 a it's jarring so off. because it's, it's off. so yeah. off brand for you. Because I don't. Yeah. Because I don't wear them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's fine. Wow. It doesn't matter. Going to talk about it in therapy next time. About how, do you, how you think look bad that it's hats. I could wear a beanie, doctor? <laughs> All right, yeah, that sucks. And we both obviously sympathize and can relate. Nip it in the bud. Nip it in the bud. Tone of voice, vibe, just let it be known without actually saying the words. Let's not talk about it. It's boring. Oh, yeah. Came. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> All over. Okay. All right, next. Next. One. All right, yo, so what's up, card. Chris? Whoa, what's up, Matt? The hair. Uh, big fan. What's the hair? Got going some tea on? for you, some advice, whatever your thoughts. So, my best friend of 20 years is getting married, and he has never heard of a prenup before. I had to be the guy to bring heard it up of? to him. Uh, so I guess that night he went to his lady, printed out a prenup, and she didn't want to sign it. Printed and it Wow. When she you didn't want to sign it, what did he do? He said, Oh, it was my boy's idea. He put it on me. Uh -huh. So. Ever since then, she's been real standoffish. You know, we're trying to do double dates and all I this. Mean, eat I'm first and then put the party. potato chips I'm down. I'm the best man in his way. Jesus. Uh, yeah. What's your guys' thoughts on that? What's your guys' thoughts on a prenup? Um, he's 29. She's 36. He just started his business. I told him it's not just for men. It protects both parties. What's you guys' thoughts? Yeah. Well, your friend is a fucking idiot if he's no, never heard that of that had to have been he's never heard of in your words a prenup i had to be hyper hyperbole there's no way that he hasn't heard of a prenup i mean i'm taking it although i would say guys with that hair that he has yes definitely probably know people that don't know a lot of things. and guys that have no idea that crinkling something that much while recording anything isn't gonna fuck up okay. the recording this no, guy's that might not be on. his fault he probably isn't on camera a lot Let's let's give this guy that. Let's wow, not give believe. him the fact that you should cut your hair. I, his hair doesn't even bother me. I kind of yeah, like, no, I, I kind of like this hair. It, it's short and long in the back. I know it's kind of cool. Have I, it long or short in the back. I'm not even worried. Mullet is fine. I thought he's his, got a rat tail. I thought his hair he's got a rat was tail. cool. No, he's got a rat tail. I'm not gonna lie. He's got just a rat. to join your club of bashing his hair. I'm not going to lie just to be a part of your hair bashing club, okay? So what's his question? His question is... How would you handle it? Now his girl, now that guy's girl thinks he's a dickhead. Well, the dude is a fucking... He's bitch made. Which guy? The other dude. What do you mean how? Oh, it was fucking the guy who told me to do it. Well, it's Also, just, he printed it out? Bro, you... You need a lawyer. You need it to do it legally. You can't just be like... And she has to promise not to take all of my money. Control P. Print. Like, dude. Dude. That's not. What's control P? Print? Yeah. Pr dude, prenup. Google. Google. P-R-E-N-U-M-P. Print. <laughs> it's one. It's half a page. And it's got all the places like not filled out, like yeah. the blanks and shit. Yeah. It says, wow, dude, that's just, that whole thing's crazy. You need to go to a lawyer. You need to hire someone to do it. Prenups are, are, are good, I guess. They're good to, for both parties. But they're a legal matter. You can't just print yeah, up a yeah. template. This whole thing is so bonkers. It's what's crazy. What's, he, what's the craziest is that he was crinkling something for that so long. That is not the craziest thing. Fucking it's believe. the most annoying part. He didn't watch it back and think, oh my God, I'm crinkling so much. No, he either did watch it back, didn't realize it, or didn't watch it back. He doesn't those know. Two, both of those two things are absolutely guys insane to me. who have short hair in the back and long hair in the back <laughs> don't know things i mean clearly you're right but i and like his friends hair. who don't know things in isolation if we're going to take each thing in isolation i'd like his hair but i'm not denying that that okay is true okay okay so what you should do is <laughs> first of all i don't I'm not not sure how close you are to the guy's girl but tell the dude to fucking throw you a bone, dude. Cover for you a little also, bit. Also, though, it's not, your, it's not his fault. Here's it's not your fault. Here's the advice I would ultimately give you. Yeah. Who the fuck cares, man? I guess she's gonna get over it. She's not like you didn't like call her a gold digging piece of shit or something. You just in said, the prenup it says that get a prenup. Gold digging piece of shit prenup. Pr uh, man, it bothers me that it was throwing an M in there. What, what, M? He kept saying prenump, and I was like, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just hearing that, but then he said it before I even said Hold anything on, about he it. was saying prenump? Yes. Wasn't he? Yes. He yeah, you know why? We, we both thought it. Short hair and long hair in the yeah, back. Might, yeah, look, I like the hair in isolation, but it might come with a suite of other characteristics, including saying prenump, including not knowing that crinkling too many things while you're recording something fucking ruins it. He just had cellophane. Yeah, he's just like, so just, hey guys. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to talk to you about prenups. <laughs> <laughs> just like this. Boop. <laughs> so guys, I, <laughs> I mean, it was what he did. Yeah, he yeah, reached yeah, over know. for it. I know, I know. Um, I don't, I, I, that's. 
Uh, what if it said prenump on the top of the <laughs> thing that he printed out? Do you know he write you know, on the header it says our prenump? <laughs> it doesn't even have their names. Me the, and my girls decided we're gonna split it. Period. The prenump. Control P. T E prenump to prenump instead of the and there's no H. Just so fucked up. Went to Homer Simpson law. Um, <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, yeah, that whole thing is fucking crazy. That, it's not your fault. How is your... If he's never... Honestly, if this dude's never heard of a prenup, then he's got way bigger issues. That's, that's here's, crazy. Here's, I don't know what that no, is. But here's the absolute truest possible thing. Mm. If he's never heard of a prenup, he 100% guaranteed does not need a prenup. Because he's a fucking idiot, mm. and he's not going to accumulate a lot of money in his lifetime. Oh, it's still yeah. he's starting a business. He said, "Yeah, a business of being a dumb shit." Okay, not a good business. Dumb shit incorporated. Okay. That's his business. I would definitely want to know what that is. So it's good marketing. <laughs> good marketing. All right. Yeah. Next one. Next one. Hey Matt. Hey Chris. Uh, need some advice. What's up? I'm a uh, teacher. Um, nice. And the teacher that teaches next to me, mm. uh, right down the hall, um, thinks we're best friends. <laughs> oh, and no. And I'm not a, not a big fan of this person. Don't have anything against their character. Just sure. they're kind of annoying and always want to have conversations with me and yeah. always want to, you know, come in during my room on our lunch break and, you know, talk about mostly complain, complain about students and co-workers and things like that. And sometimes I just, you know, want to chill by myself, yeah, but also yeah. don't want to be a jerk and drool, whatever. So, um, yeah. Any advice on how uh, I can tell him to no, chill and leave me alone while not being a <laughs> yeah. douche to him, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this is a common theme, I think in our uh in the show we get one of these types of things every so often so it leads me to believe that this is like a pretty universally relatable problem the the person at work that thinks they're friends with you when you don't want to be friends with them at all mm -hmm. i think in your situation because you're a teacher and they're a teacher and it's kind of just independent and it's not te te technically teachers don't even really have to interact with each other mm. unlike most job situations i think tell me if i'm wrong mm. you have license you have more latitude to be an actual dick about it what then what then someone who like shares a, an office with someone oh it sees your own them space, all the time saying, yeah. and they take conference conferences together or whatever you know what I mean? yeah this you can be like i'm not saying you should do this but you have the right to and i don't think it would come back to bite you too bad if you were like look i really appreciate my breaks alone like if you don't mind uh leave me the fuck alone well <laughs> you know yeah or just say you're fucking grading papers dude i don't but that you can't say that every time you could no no i think no i think you need to do something that is gonna last got it you can't have you can't be like every single time you need a new excuse because you're just papers. a liar. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like American Psycho. I got to return videotape. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be I, I weird once and then it will never be weird again. Yeah, true. But, but then that's you what I'm see saying. And Lay exactly. it down. Lay it down once. Yeah, but then it's weird when you see them and stuff. Not really. Like, not oh, if, fuck. But not if you don't care. An enemy. Keep your enemies close. Keep your friends close. Your None enemies doesn't close. doesn't apply at all. Doesn't even uh, remotely I'm a big, apply. big believer in Sun Tzu and the art of war, man. Wow. Okay. Well, did I have he even say that? Was that from him? Sun Tzu, the enemies thing? Friends close, enemies closer. Yep. Sun Tzu. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Actually, I think it's Machiavelli. Mach M Machiavelli. Michael Valley? I think Michael Valley said that. Is it Ma Machiavelli that said that or is it Sun Tzu? No, it's Sun Tzu. I'm very cultural. I'm very historical. Keep it's your friends close, your enemies but closer. keep your enemies closer. But really, but he was just... A your frenemies inside your butthole. That's the, the whole... I think that might have been Machiavelli. It <laughs> was Sun Tzu. Yes, dude. I'm so fucking smart. Here's the thing about yeah, that, the art smart. of war. I got the art of war. Because Tupac changed his name to Machiavelli, and it was from Machiavelli, and I started watch, listening. I started reading Machiavelli, and then I started looking at Sun Tzu. But that is not right. He didn't. Machiavelli I know. didn't write. I know, but I, that in that world of of stuff, I was kind of 
you know what I mean? It's like the same universe in a way, like how Avengers are, you know, oh, I got into Spider-Man because I got into Superman, that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. You were worried about the beginning being boring. That wasn't boring. This, that was boring. I truly think that that was not boring. Okay. So we, disagree, we agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. But I will say, though, that the art of war was not good. And I will also say that he was, that was one of those things. That, remember back then, I'm not saying it wasn't good. I'm joking. But like, back then you know when what, Sun Tzu then, wrote Art of War? Yeah. Okay. But I, back then, was it really uh, smart to say those things? Or was it just he was the first guy to do it? You know what I'm talking about? Well, it's still smart to say those things. It's smart. Keep your friends close to enemies closer? No, the whole thing. I'm not, that, not just that. <sighs> Keep your friends close to your enemies closer is a very smart thing to I guess. Come up with. It's not a smart thing to just be like, oh, that's dope. I'm going to say that too. No. So but my point is, is Sun Tzu really the kind of guy who comes up with, keep your friends close, enemies closer, or is he a guy that kind of maybe heard someone else say it and be like, no, nah, it's kind of dope. I'm going to put it in my book. Sun Tzu definitely didn't hear other people saying anything. He probably came into contact with like 80 people in his life. Back then, it's not like you so could enough. hear other Only people saying one. things, you know? A pigeon could have dropped it off. What? Yeah, a pigeon. You know how yeah. they do it? Yeah, yeah, maybe. But I don't think that happened either. By the way, do you ever believe that that ever would work? Ever worked? I don't ever believe that worked. The, I believe it Put a it note worked. in the pigeon and fly it to another town? I believe it worked, Never. but I can't, I, I can't believe that humans actually figured that out. But yeah, that, was a real, that is a real thing. I believe it never worked once. Oh, okay. We, 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 you put a fucking, yo, the, they're coming to get you. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, I actually don't even know how that works. That's a good point, but I guarantee you it it has worked, you know? No, not once. I hate when they do that in movies. When it, and the windowsill, and the shit, and the lady's like, oh, what's this? Oh, a handsome suitor well, likes me. that doesn't really happen that often in movies, you know what I mean? Every single... Oh, Every single movie where there's castles, it it, it almost happens. And like frilly yeah. stuff, yeah. It doesn't happen like Ben Stiller movies, but I'm just saying like, yeah, that, that's never worked once. And we are led to believe that that's worked and that's never worked once. We'll get to the bottom of it on, on luxury. Okay. okay. All right. We'll Fine. really research it and everything. Uh, let's get one more in though before this ends. Okay, we got, we'll get so one Russ, more. Hey guys, love the podcast. Uh, Chris and Matt, love what you're doing. Uh, Chris will be seeing you in Richmond, Virginia, November. So question for today I share the name of an extremely famous athlete, um, someone who's no longer playing, but, but was huge when they were. Yeah, Lord Perry. Every time I meet anyone, it always comes up. They say, oh, you used to play for, you know, some kind of corny joke. Oh, no. Mark I work with a lot of, like, white-collar guys, so I can't slam them into oblivion <laughs> like I'd like to. Um, so any tips that you have to dealing with that what can i do to oh, kind of get back sucks. to these guys and just let them know like yeah you know you're not being original here that sucks all right thanks guys the, appreciate the advice what sucks is like imagine your name was fucking for real like bobby bonilla sammy sosa yeah like it no more garcia para like it, well, jose canseco would be incredible it yeah sucks yeah it sucks. And also, what were your parents thinking? Although it could have happened to where they didn't know it was going to happen, right? They could have named you before the guy got famous. Of course. Yes. But he said he doesn't play anymore. So one would believe. Yeah. He, he was probably around and the parents probably just didn't know. No, yeah. yeah. Um, but that being said, we only said baseball players, which is I, I was just going to say yeah, that. Yeah. But we're uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Manute Bull. You know, his, his name's O.J. Simpson. His name's <laughs> Manute Bull. Yeah. Very famous uh, believed murderer to some and Believed slash, murderer, you know? Well, he, you know. No, I know. Never was convicted. No, he certainly wasn't. But, but, but. Pretty, pretty much, but I think he did it. He did it. <laughs> uh, uh, and, everyone, and everyone knows it. Um, it could have been his son, dude. O.J. Simpson's son. You ever see that theory? conspiracy? It's pretty wild. There's a, there's a conspiracy theory that there was a serial killer mm. at that time mm. and was purportedly in that area and there's a whole book really written about it i think there was even a tv movie made about the book that posits the theory that it was in fact a serial killer who killed nicole brown and ron gold what isn't that crazy whoa yeah the the you got to look up the sun one it's pretty wild especially like me being a dad i'd be like oh actually i could see that because like if the kid the kid had a little bit of some issues and then went crazy and then the dad's like i, I fucking did it same dna anyway who's the son 
Tom Simpson? No, I have no idea. BJ Simpson? Where it is. BJ. Uh, wait, what were Orange what, juice what, and blowjob. What, what did this person ask about? Oh, uh, the name. Uh, yeah, I think what you do, it's similar to the uh, not drinking thing. You introduce yourself and you, and you, without being a dick, just be like, haha, I know it's this. Because you don't want to let the person think they're going to be clever. Here's the thing about that. It's bad for everybody, the person that thinks they're being clever. It's bad for you, obviously, because you're so sick and tired of it. But it's bad for them because it makes you think that person is just a fucking idiot like everybody else who thinks they're mm. clever. So like you, do, you, have, you have an incentive to nip it in the bud. You want to like mm. new people that you meet. And they're putting themselves in such a hole yeah. when you first meet them by being like, oh, Mark McGuire, hey, Big Mac. You know, yeah. let me check those arms. You're on steroids. Like there's going to be some joke that they fold in about the superstar athlete that whoever the fuck it is. I think uh, just. It's just Pele. Like just, just Pele. Yeah. Just say you're that guy. Who cares? Well, he. Yeah, that's I, me, man. Uh, great, great. I'm <laughs> Tim Duncan. No, he works with people. He needs to yeah, be I professional. Know. I know. Are you still thinking? I'm Tim Duncan, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it, dude. I'm I'm fucking uh, Robinson. What's the guy's name? David Robinson. <laughs> wow, David Robinson, yeah, dude. He was the fucking like, man, huh? Yeah, yeah. Damn. His hair was real. That's me, cool. dude. I'm oil can boyd. <laughs> oil can boyd. <laughs> wow. Uh, Gaylord Perry. That's the first one you said, right? Yeah, that's what I said. So, so it's all good. I'm Dennis know? Eckersley. All right, look, you can go get Grow or Die, the special, my fifth special. It's at chrislea.com. Uh, and uh, our Patreon, Lifeline Luxury is a uh, patreon.com slash lifeline luxury you want to be a guest on my podcast what's up my new podcast coming out you got a crazy story you got a wild story you got a story you want to share with the world go to the private record.com submit yourself as a guest to come on the show and tell me that story thank you very much uh yeah and you know chris is on tour going to fucking different places like trenton phoenix who cares and uh you want a one-on-one with me Go to mattalia.com. Wow. Uh, you have a question, uh, click the link in the description below, or obviously go to watchlifeline.com to get on this show, or leave us a message at the hotline. You don't even need to show your face. Wow. Uh, and of course, if you want the merch, go to lifelinemerch.com and buy every single piece of it in every single yeah. size, or you hate us. You know, dude, uh, I got new dates. Go to chrisley.com. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs>